What's up guys, how you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to episode number 5 of the Road to Glory here on FIFA 18 Ultimate Team. So, the series so far has been going down really, really well. Literally couldn't have even asked for more, so thank you so much for that. Do me a favour, hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if this is your first video of mine that you have seen. So what you're going to see in today's episode, firstly we're going to start off with this Griezmann game, right? But what I realised is that you can just go into it, like, you don't get the bonuses in squad battles for playing this, like, this crazy challenge against Ronaldinho, Henri and 99 Griezmann. So, I saw a lot of people on Twitter were losing the game because they put it on a high difficulty. And even if you won it on the highest difficulty, you could get 2,000 points. If you win it on the lowest possible difficulty, you get 1,500 points. And a 500-point gap is just not worth the difficulty, like, of or the stress of playing it on a super hard level. So I think I stuck it up by one or two, and then just easily won. It's an it's an easy way to get started on your squad battles, uh, like ladder of, of rewards and stuff. So, highly recommend that. If they are weekly and stuff, I'm not sure when we get like the special squad battles. Obviously, we started off here with a Griezmann. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to happen too often or not, but if it does, then yeah, it's, it seems to be a great and easy way to get like a good solid base on your points for the start of the week. Now, I've also been playing my four games per day, but I understand and I, and I really do realise that we've not really played any online gameplay in this series so far. Uh, and I've seen a lot of you in the comments saying, right, you need to start playing online now. So what, I'll, what I intend to do for this week is I'm going to carry on playing my four games per day. Uh, I won't include the footage in the Road to Glory, but I'll show you like what my scoreline was, how many points I got for that particular match or whatever. Um... At the end of each bank of four games every day. Because I'm aiming to just play it on semi-pro or pro or something. And get like a respectable score. I hope to get gold one. That is my aim for the week. If I can just play four games a day. Get gold one. That will be absolutely brilliant for the road to glory. Uh, and I want to see if I can do that. Like maybe week on week. If so it is just something that I can play in the background. And then maybe every week if this special stuff is, is happening once a week. I'll maybe show you the game against the 99 rated player. Whoever it is that particular week whatever the featured game is so currently after that one game we were up to silver two um the only people that were higher up at that point in time were the people that had played uh their game against Griezmann on a higher difficulty and maybe the first game here because I didn't play it exactly 1am that day um but as you can see I played my four games didn't get the best of scores or the best of points or anything like that. Uh, I struggle to concentrate when it's like 2am and I'm playing this single player match. And I've also played it on both semi-pro and pro. And pro is easier than semi-pro. The amount of aggression that semi-pro has against me, I don't even know. It's harder. I'm, I, I'm saying it's harder. It's ridiculous. Um, so maybe I should even step up another level and see see how easy it is on legendary or world class or whatever it is not too sure but i've also been playing some of the journey in the background um and we get ourselves a little reward i haven't completed the journey i've only done the first like couple of acts which i believe you could have done if you played ea access which is what we were all on for the last week if you were on xbox and we get ourselves a little reward in ultimate team for completing like the first mini part of the journey get myself a lone Asensio. so whether or not I'll need him or use him, I probably will at some point. And it's not bad. We also get a Giovinco in the pack. I'll take it. Now, I played on a little bit further and got another reward for Ultimate Team. Now, I obviously don't want to go ahead and spoil all of the journey rewards for you guys. But I'm pretty sure these first couple were available to play for the first week uh, in EA Access. So, I'm going to stop here. I won't show you any other rewards that we get for at least a couple of weeks or something. Uh, but we got ourselves eight games on a lone Rio Ferdinand icon. I'll take that. Not too shabby at all. I also then played my next four games the next day and ended up in like... I, I don't even know. You'll have to skip back to see where we were at right then um and then i've just decided to go on the transfer market i wanted to buy an untep because i wanted to add i wanted to change my french team around a little bit and i bought one and then i bought like another five or so, i don't know how many i bought i started doing a little bit of trading or attempting to anyway i'm definitely not a good trader on the game um but i have attempted to do a little bit of that stuff now i was buying the Unteps for like a thousand or one thousand one hundred and selling them for nine 
1900 bin and they were going pretty quick so i was returning a, a little bit of coinage here and there and then i was at this point with my french team i realized i need 4321 and not the 412122 uh, but i was at this point with my squad thinking okay who do i buy what do i go ahead and do and i <laughs> i don't know i just kind of changed my mind and have decided to i don't want to go with the french squad right now it's just Ah, I don't, it didn't have the right players in the right positions for me that I really wanted to use and stuff right now. So uh, I've decided to buy a Divock Origi. I was thinking about maybe hybriding things up a little bit. Obviously, Origi gets a strong link to Untep because they both play for the same team. Um, but the Telvan that I bought myself to go into my French team, I instantly sold for either break even or a little bit of profit there. Uh, so he can go. And I've just decided that, yeah, the French team is currently not for me. I think when once you get a few extra coins, if you're like really broke, you can get some really cheap French players. If you're got if you've got loads of coins, you can get a really good French team. But in the middle, it's a, a little bit boring. So I've decided to go down the Bundesliga route. Now I bought this Inform Aranguiz, however you say his name, because I've got the coins and he was just over the discard price. So worst case scenario is I lose a couple of thousand by discarding him or whatever. But a week one in form, sometimes they go up a little bit in price. So I've decided that that's basically low risk and I can have a decent looking midfielder in my Bundesliga squad. And you'll see in some of the other players that we're picking up here, I went with Weisser, Tar. Uh, Stark, Vendel, and now we've gone for Hector in the midfield. And of course, I packed Naby Keita um, uh, a couple of episodes ago. So he's going to go into the team as well. Uh, and the game glitched out and I accidentally bought two Hectors. But one of them was for a little bit cheaper. So I probably broke even or made a couple coins on that as well. Uh, we buy ourselves a Bellarabi. If you didn't notice there, he was already in the right wing spot. And he's default right mid. And he was the cheapest on the market for a right wing. Which is perfect. Exactly what I wanted. Uh, so we got a bit of a bargain there. And then I buy my favourite keeper on FIFA. That is always Ralph Farman. He's just always really good. So I, uh, I wanted to see how much he was going to cost as an 84. And he was less than I expected. So I obviously picked him up. So now we've got this. This is our Bundesliga side. And I'm really happy with how it looks. It looks really solid. It's a definite step up from the French team. But obviously it has cost a little bit more. Um, and then you're seeing the stuff that I've decided to sell. I sell on the French players like Baal, Dupreuvy, Mangala, Ben Arthur, Malqui. Like I sold a lot of players because I'm no longer using the French side. I've got a Bundes side. And I've also got a La Liga team, which I've decided to change away from the 412122 as well. We're going to go 4231 wide for my La Liga side because... I feel in these formations are going to help me. This particular one has got two defensive midfielders, which could be game changing in terms of like interceptions and stuff, which is going to help me with my defending. And it's got Inyaki Williams, Delafeo, uh, and Ben Yedda in the squad. Like great, great players to add in there. Uh, and I think normally this team plays quite wide, this formation. So it's going to give me a lot of space to keep passing the ball around, hold possession, which makes me more confident to win the games. I'm then showing you the next bunch of games that I played. Uh, I got some pretty horrible points in one of them. But then I stepped up the difficulty a little bit to, to sort of get it back a bit. Uh, and playing with like my Bundesliga side and stuff. Did, we did alright, you know. We actually did alright and got over a thousand points in some of the games. And we were in a like elite something. But I reckon it's going to knock me down to gold at some point. I also went onto the market and tried to buy some squad fitnesses for cheap. Uh, <coughs> and he ended up getting like a couple of them. Um, but at some point in time, maybe the first weekend league or something, I'll either need them or they're going to go up in price. Now, I also bought a bunch of this player. There was a high chance that he was going to get in the team of the week. So before that team of the week came out, I decided to buy, I think there is like 12 there, of Gulam, a, set, a left back in the Serie A. Now... I bought him for like 900 to 1100 coins. So let's say an average of, th of 1000 coins per player. And I'm just going to sell him on later on this week. Because he did end up actually getting an inform. So with him being kind of cheap when I bought him. It was very low risk trading. But I got a bunch of him that I'm going to flog at some point in time. Uh, hoping that his price goes up. Worst case scenario is I lose a couple hundred coins on each 
like on each Ghulam, and that's literally the worst case scenario. I can't see that happening. So I was quite happy to actually get like 12 of one player to trade with. And I hope that works out for me. And I hope you lot don't screw me now that you know that I've bought that player. Um, but it is time, guys. It's time I go online. Time I go into online divisions and just see what we can do, right? It's something that we've only dabbled in for like 12 minutes of online gameplay in the very first episode and the guy rage quit on me. So I've not played a whole bunch of online, especially on the road to glory. Um, <coughs> but we start things off kind of well here. Pick the ball up within Yaki Williams using the La Liga side because they've got 99 fitness at the moment. The Bundesliga side didn't after my squad battles match. Uh, but the wide play really helped here. And we end up getting a goal with De La Feo. Now, it's not the prettiest, to be fair. It was a tap-in after, like, a shot that got saved by the keeper. I don't know. Like, it wasn't the greatest of goals. But we're 1-0 up within three minutes of our of our first online Divisions game in Division 10. And obviously at the moment, Division 10 isn't what it would normally be, which is a complete walk in the park. It's got everyone that's just starting the game, even with some crazy super teams. And I'm sure we'll come up against them in the next couple of episodes probably. But have a look at that. Delafeo was running through. And I passed the ball to my striker or my cam, who completely and utterly just... Well, the pass was misplaced. He sort of stumbled. It left a massive gap for De La Feo to run through. Uh, and we ended up going 2-0 up off of that mistake. So, credit to whoever played that dodgy pass. It ended up working out in my favour. And then Ben Yedda with some great dribbling here. Plays it off to De La Feo, who packs up his... Well, he packs his third goal of the game and gets himself that hat-trick within 11 minutes of FIFA. And as you can see, he's queued a pause in the top of your screens. So he, he pauses the game and he just decides to straight up rage quit after 11 minutes. So now we've played two online games in the Road to Glory. One for 12 minutes and then we got a rage quit. And then one for 11 minutes and then we got a rage quit. So a perfect start to Division 10. A rage quit after like literally 11 minutes in game. Uh, I'll definitely take that. And it gave me enough fitness on my Bundesliga side that I could switch around and use that team. And show you what that team performs like in game. Now we come up against someone that's obviously starting out. They've got some high caliber players in there. Both Ronaldo's. He's got Suarez. 88 rated icon Rio Ferdinand, so obviously he's been playing the first little bit of the journey as well. Um, didn't know what to think, because if a player like this is good, doesn't matter that he hasn't got any chemistry, he's got Ronaldo, like 96 Ronaldo, so he was. it, it could be tough. But I do go 1-0 up really early doors, get the ball to Entep, and I just sort of like finesse it into the bottom corner. And it's a solid little goal. He runs off celebrating and, and falls over and stuff. But some nice 1-2 uh, pass in here. Bellarabi is through on goal, shoots into the back of the net. We go 2-0 up in six minutes. And I thought, yes, we're on. Uh, I, I had a rage quit after 12 minutes, a rage quit after 11 minutes. Can we get another goal in this match? And I'll get a rage quit after 10 minutes. Um, <laughs> but unfortunately for me, he runs up the other end. Ryan Bertrand whips it into the box. I sort of clear it. I sort of don't. Ronaldo heads it to Asensio. And on his weak foot, scores that goal against me. Like a solid, solid finish. Uh, but I'm wondering what my keeper's doing here. Diving like straight downwards and not actually getting any distance on that dive whatsoever. Goalkeepers are a bit suspect on this game. That is for damn sure. But Antep picks the ball up, plays it over to Origi, who then just absolutely wellies it once he gets that ball under control. It goes through the defender and the goalkeeper into the back of the net. And I restore my two-goal lead. And there's only 16 minutes on the clock. And this game's had four goals. That is FIFA 18 for you guys. There is so many goals scored just because... Nobody can defend. I can't defend. I get a little bit better at it, but at the moment, everyone is, is struggling. Now, I miss an absolute sitter there with Bellarabi, and I had to just put that in the video because I was getting a little bit cocky in this game. I need to bring myself down a notch because that was embarrassing. To miss from point-blank range like that, come on, that's just unbelievable. Hector takes a shot from a corner. Doesn't quite work out for us. I thought I was going to get a scissor kick opportunity there with Bellarabi, but that didn't work. And imagine if this goal here would have gone in. How beautiful would that have been? The, the hold-up play and the little dink over from Origi and the volley from Bellarabi would have been so, so nice. But I do get the ball with the German. He tucks it home. A little bit like the first goal we scored in this game. And I do go 4-1 up in the 68th minute of the game. Um, so I reckon we've definitely got a win here. And it definitely happens because he ends up rage quitting off of that. So 
ideally in this first in this episode today I was just going to go into Division 10 and play one game for you guys. I know that I wanted to add one game of online clips into this one but we've actually played two and I don't even think that amounts up to 90 minutes but we will continue to play online and I'll also play offline on squad battles in the background to hopefully start earning some coins there. But we got a lot of coins for keeping a clean sheet um, in Divisions online. We gave me like 800 coins or something just for doing that so that was a great daily challenge. But there you have it, guys. That is the episode of The Road to Glory done for today. If you have enjoyed, and I'm sure you have, smash a thumbs up on the video. Let's aim for 3,000 likes on this episode. That would be absolutely amazing. Uh, and, of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Have a good one, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.